I'm Dr. Iman Hamad, and I'm the medical director of the ventricular assist program at Temple University Hospital. The main, um, the main therapies that can be used for heart failure are really transplants and, and heart pumps. Um, other than that, really, the prognosis for patients who have heart failure, studies have shown that they have a 50% five-year uh, mortality at diagnosis. At this current time, unfortunately, we don't have enough donor hearts, um, where we have 300,000 heart failure patients and only about 2,500 donor hearts available uh, nationally. So heart pumps can be used, um, one, to bridge patients who need a heart transplant until they get a donor organ. And also for patients who are not candidates for heart transplant, those pumps are used as what we call destination therapy. So basically that is their pump for life. A heart pump um, it works by bypassing the pump that's not working. So basically it takes the blood from the major um, ventricle, so if it's a left heart pump, it would take the blood from that left heart that's not working, and it actually bypass left left heart and take the blood and put it into the main artery that the heart was supposed to originally pump to, and bypass that sick ventricle, that sick chamber. Same with the right, basically, it's just going into the other ventricle, and it would bypass that right heart that's not working well and pump the blood into the pulmonary artery. The surgery to put in a pump is usually about eight hours, depending on whether the patient had a surgery in the past or not, or if there's any complications, but that's kind of an average. And usually um, the pump is placed in the operating room. Um, it's an open heart surgery where um, the, the pump is placed into that ventricle that needs to be bypassed and then connected to the big artery that the blood flow is going to. Um, and then afterwards, a, uh, a, a, what we call a drive line, which is electricity source, is tunneled through the skin uh, in order for the uh, patient to charge that heart pump um, after the surgery. When we put in ventricular assist device, the heart pumps, uh, we do see improvement um, in patients' um, uh, functional capacity, the amount of activity they could do, and um, in their life in general, and in their patient satisfaction. We see um, um, patients who are very happy and are able to um, practice everything they were doing before, from going back to their work, to um, hiking, golfing, and they live their lives normally. We've uh, uh, put almost 300 implantable um, VADs since we started, and um, uh, our VAD program has surgical expertise and also um, has a multidisciplinary team uh, that focuses on um, these patients 